And this is the magic of Centro. Every day is the most wonderful day of your life. If that's what you want, of course. It's not the luxury restaurants and the luxury hotels that we have. It's this, where you look and every street is special. Every person is friendly. Centro it always has something to spark you with magic. This place is Posada del Pozo, which is where you'll be spending some wonderful nights. Oh, love it! And so Julio, will you show us around a little bit? Of course. This is the living room. There's an extra bathroom there. We have a 150 year old well, which is why it's called Posada del Pozo. This area is new, but the well itself, you want, if you want to take a look, is over 150 years old. Protected by the government, so no one can ever block this. A little piece of history. For decades, I've been obsessed with the expat experience. What would it be like to live in a foreign country? So I decided to come down to Mexico to see for myself. Who are you, lady? I'm your wife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm with you on the ride, baby. You're watching Wild Retirement. What do we mean by wild retirement? Well, think of it like this. Wild is an acronym and it stands for what I love doing. These are stories about people at a particular stage in their lives who've made a decision to do what they love doing. Because where would you rather be? I call it living the wild life. Tell us where we are. Of course, you are in San Miguel de Allende. This is the world's greatest city according to travel and leisure. I booked you through Airbnb. What's your experience as an Airbnb guy? It's amazing because the world travels to you instead of you traveling the world. And so you get to share a little bit of your past and your present and your future and you get to experience that same thing with people from all over the world. So we are in the best spot of San Miguel. You can walk everywhere, all markets are nearby, over 450 restaurants are listed on TripAdvisor, plus all your taco stands and quesadilla and gordita stands. What does expat mean to you? Do you consider yourself an expat? I consider myself a citizen of Earth. So, no, I don't consider myself an expat. You sound like an American. I was raised in New York, born in Michoacan, so I'm 100% Mexican. Came back for college, and the reason why I stayed in Mexico and not moved back to New York was because I wanted to be in Mexico. So what better than San Miguel de Allende? And although there is a large expat community, you do still find so much of the, of the traditional Mexican town mixed in with a more posh and trendy modern city in a sense. Here's an ancient traditional coffee shop. What was the draw to San Miguel to begin with? I actually knew San Miguel because a cousin wanted to get a tattoo and her tattoo artist was living in San Miguel at the time. I was in college in Morelia, which is about a three hour drive. And so she, I, I accompanied her and from the moment I stepped foot in the town, I was like, this place has something. I don't know what it is, but there's something here. People watching this may be thinking, I want to move to San Miguel or someplace like it. What are the right reasons to do this and what are the wrong reasons to do this? Don't come here expecting to live the same way you live it anywhere, even if you are coming from another part of Mexico. Don't move if you're not open, and move for every other reason. Personally, I have become so much more creative, and all of that I owe to San Miguel. The community here just pushes you and supports you, but again, you have to be open. So this is called El Centro, you're saying, right, Julio? This is El Centro, and... Expensive then around here? It's very expensive in okay. Centro. Why? Because everything is walking distance. No one wants a car. That's the whole point of moving here. I don't see any traffic lights. Oh, for sure. One of the first things I noticed was, you know, you come to an intersection and you have to look at the other 
person's eyes um, and, and kind of figure out like you going me going and, and so that whole thing just adds value to to the spirit of, of the community for example the sidewalks sidewalks are so narrow that only one person can walk on them right and so you know when they're a few meters or feet away you're kind of looking into their eyes like are they gonna get off the, the sidewalk or am I gonna have to get off or but someone needs to get off or something needs to happen because both of you can't fit right so um, that visual contact definitely creates some sort of human experience and connection for sure I don't see that on Fifth Avenue <laughs> Uh, one of the things you should expect is Mexican time. It's a thing. It's a real thing. Um, especially in a place like San Miguel where money is not the priority but lifestyle is. You call a plumber today, you're lucky if he's there by tomorrow or <laughs> the next day. Ten minutes late is means that they're on time. Do you have concerns that San Miguel may be changing in a way you don't want to see it change? Oh, for sure, of course. Gentrification is a real thing as well. Most of these local people you see here don't live here anymore because Americans, Canadians, Europeans, and even wealthy Mexicans are offer a price that they can't say no to. And so they're willing to just sell it off, buy something on the outskirts, and so Centro is becoming a very classy, expensive area. Although, what's wonderful about it is that during the day, we, it, it's part of all of us. You don't feel like you don't belong or you don't feel like you shouldn't be. It, the town still belongs to everyone. It's just more and more expensive every year. Julio, are all expats, or the majority even, retirees, older people, or what do you see? Many expats do not like to be called retirees. <laughs> and even the ones that come because they've retired, they they find a new life in San Miguel. You know, maybe it was a dream in your 30s or 40s and, you know, kind of put it aside and all of a sudden now you have time, resources, and San Miguel to, to give you that push and, and rediscover yourself. People here go very deep and, in thought and in spirit. Mm. And it's very hard to find anywhere else in the world. So you come to San Miguel not to retire, but to be reborn. Would you say this decision to move here was more led by the heart or the head? It was a heart decision, but it was well thought through before doing it. Yes. <laughs>